Not long after Damascus Road celebrated the completion of seven years, the Majorca mission team returned to share about what God had done through prayer and compassion on the party streets of Magaluf. We kept taking opportunities to put truth and love into action around the world, and another team flew to Nakuru, Kenya for the church's fourth trip there to share the good news about Jesus and serve alongside local churches. Back in Maastricht, we continued our summer Sunday tradition of learning from multiple speakers from within the church because we valued the diversity and the development of teachers in our family. An enthusiastic group of our helpers and children gave a boost to the Vacation Bible School in nearby Hunsbrook, where they sang, danced, played, and grew in knowledge about our Creator. The switch of seasons again coincided with various leadership adjustments as the Council of Servant Leaders gave more oversight and encouragement for each of the church's ministries, Becky Miller's role on the pastoral staff grew, Wilma Yuta Dick became our first formal missions team directors, Annelies Kristofiak moved into the role of worship team coordinator, and a team of five became the Damascus Road University Ministry Corps leadership, Bruno and Alina Lubasher, Tom Gervitt, Sky Young, and Sarah Rickard. Drum started the new school year with a focus on the Holy Spirit, and they reached out to new uni students with an income table and lunches after church. Drum also expanded toward an online audience through live streaming on Facebook and posting on YouTube and providing self-written music on Bandcamp. Small groups remained an integral part of connecting people within the church. We had groups for students, preteens, high school and university, and adult groups, with English and Dutch options for the youngest and oldest age groups. Our small group leader trainings throughout the fall and winter focused on following the Apostle Paul's example of pastoring. The groups themselves finished studying the last half of Luke's Gospel, following Jesus' continued trek toward Jerusalem and eventual crucifixion, resurrection, and ascension. That joyous message of Jesus got shared on the other side of the globe as a team from Maastricht went to Indonesia for a month helping at an orphanage, working in Street Children Project preaching, and sharing testimonies at churches, and in a prison, and in a village, and praying for sick people in hospitals. Throughout the year, many people from the church rolled up their sleeves to show love here at home by participating in Serve the City Maastricht, linking arms with others from the community to show care for people from every section of society. The social team's Seven Cross the Line dinners made a place for people who wouldn't usually meet together, singing, taking pictures, cooking, folding napkins, playing games, And of course, eating. The practical team arranged neighborhood days around the city for volunteers to help complete hands-on tasks for residents. Our church's food package team provided food and house supplies and other helps to about 20 households monthly. They worked hard raising money with food fundraisers, flea markets, and garage sales and selling calendars. The impact programs for collecting food at Porto Mozana, St. Martin's Colasia, and UWC Maastricht provided a major boost of supplies, and the team had the privilege in November of giving a guest lesson to Porto Mozana students, making them aware of poverty in their own city. We participated with other area churches in the A21 March for Freedom. Music is a special way of connecting with God, and on top of the church's worship night in November, Drum held worship nights among the students each month, giving attention to spending time in God's presence. But Drum also wanted to help people get out of their normal routines, for example through the fall breakaway, and also to get on the streets to share about Jesus through flyering, giving away coffee, and just going where the Holy Spirit led. Before Christmas, Drum gave away Bibles on Onsley for Frauplein. The church held a service on Christmas Eve, celebrating once again the promised one who came as a baby to give us life and unite us with the Father. Communication with our Heavenly Father, prayer, will always be foundational to what we do. We continued praying together before, during, and after our Sunday meetings, as well as in the small groups and ministry teams. We had all-night prayer meetings the last Friday of each month. The new year started with a prayer meeting again up on the St. Petersburg, and January marked the restart of regular prayer meetings there twice a month. In March, we did a prayer walk across the border in Cana, Belgium, a city that had seen an increase in suicides. In addition to prayer, we give significant attention to the Bible. In 2018, we seek to be well-versed, going through the story of the whole Bible with videos on Sundays, as well as weekly blog posts on the city. Along with caring for people's spiritual needs, our church cares about meeting people's emotional, mental health, and physical needs. The care team, which formed in 2017, continued to develop themselves, such as through a training in February with Stichting Mana, 
as they provide care and support for those who request it. Drum also focused on mental health with a special event. The church is people, not a location, which we got reminded of through the various location changes within the mech, as well as to our old spot in the Stay OK several times. We also sent mission teams to familiar locations for our church. Over carnival break, one team returned for the second year to Nagpur, India, to teach at the Crossroads Sera Conference and give addresses at the Bible School graduation. Another team went back to Indonesia about a month and a half later, and their ministry included baptizing a young woman there. Our church's monthly practice of another sacrament, the Lord's Supper, can be, well, different. Sometimes we rip and dip individually, sometimes we take the bread and fruit of the vine corporately, or walk around with trays and hug each other, or serve each other one-on-one. The method is less important than the remembrance, much like at Easter, the annual remembrance of Jesus' death, entombment, and victory over the grave. As a special touch, singers of Damascus Road formed a choir to sing for that day. Around Easter, we added a new small group Bible study in the nearby German city of Aachen, as our church started its sermon and Bible study series titled Echoes in Thunder. The series focused on how Jesus changed the Apostle John's life, and how John echoed those life lessons in his gospel and letters now recorded in the Bible. The small group leader trainings followed on the same theme of John's writings. Though two drum leaders had moved away at the end of 2017, the three remaining leaders continued their work through the spring semester with much the same emphasis through drum nights, outreach, and a spring breakaway. The Holy Spirit remained the leading topic in a YouTube video series Tom developed. At the church business meeting, Praveen Koshi Sam was installed as the newest team member to the Council of Servant Leaders. Our church is full of young people, with an active nursery, kids' church, and preteen ministry. During the year, one of the leaders, Kavita Houthoff, moved, but the rest of the team continued teaching Bible stories and caring for the children, and they put together special activities for Christmas, Easter, Mother's Day, and the children's birthdays. On a few Sundays, the children joined the adults in the main service. We're always excited to see the church grow, and sometimes that's through the birth of new babies. Being a church with a vibrant involvement and leadership from people under 40 garnered attention and invitations for us to speak. Community Bible Study asked some of our leaders to share from our experience and train Bible study leaders outside of the Netherlands at conferences, retreats, and meetings. And our Dutch denomination gave us the floor to instruct on training young leaders during pastors' meetings in two regions of the country. We are honored to send people out, and honored to receive them as well. So individuals came to minister on Sundays and in drum from our connections in Albania, Brazil, Mallorca, Kenya, India, the United States, and here in the Netherlands. Damascus Road also remains devoted to giving the mic to people in our church through God stories, poems, roundtable discussions, skits, and more. Because we know many people won't remain in Maastricht. We rejoice in the chance to share life and faith with the many people who come through Maastricht on their journey. We want them to be prepared to spread that eternal life and encourage faith wherever they go. For we believe in Jesus, the Messiah, the Son of God, and by believing, we have life in His name.